2010 MacBook Pro microphone replacement. It's under the logic board. Begin by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. The back cover is attached with 10 Phillips head screws. Start with the 7 short screws first, starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Next, the 3 long Phillips head screws. Remove the cover. Disconnect the battery before you begin. Logic board removal. Unscrew the three T6 fan screws, but leave them in place. You can now lift up the fan and disconnect it. Disconnect the speaker, then the Wi-Fi cable, the DVD drive and the hard drive, now the trackpad. Next the keyboard. Make sure to flip up the keyboard latch before disconnecting it. Lift up the latch on the backlight as well. Disconnect the battery light indicator. Pry back and disconnect the LVDS cable. Remove the seven logic board T6 screws. Remove the LVDS bracket that's held in with two Phillips head screws. This is a very important step. Use tweezers to pry back the glued in microphone. Make sure that the microphone is loose. You can now lift up on the logic board, but be careful, there's one more connection. Flip it over. Disconnect the DCN power board. The logic board is now free. Microphone removal. Remove the tape from the speaker and the microphone connections. You can do this by simply taking it off with tweezers. Now disconnect the speaker as the microphone runs underneath it. Trace it down and peel it away from the speaker. Now disconnect it from the logic board. Microphone reinstallation. Connect the microphone to the logic board. Loop it underneath the speaker cable. Plug the speaker back into the logic board. Now insert the microphone into the speaker. Place back the connection tapes to cover the connections. Logic board reinstallation. Reconnect the DCN power board first. At an angle, USBs first reinsert the logic board in. Prying all of the cables out of the way, gently drop the board in.
pry out any of the block cables with tweezers. Reinstall the seven logic board T6 screws. Reinsert the fan and screw it in with three T6 screws. Reconnect the fan to the logic board. Reinsert the LVDS cable bracket and screw it in with two Phillips head screws. Reinsert the LVDS cable. Be careful, you can damage the socket. Make sure to lock it in. Reconnect the battery indicator. Reconnect the speaker. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the DVD drive, then the hard drive, then the trackpad. Make sure that the eyelash is up and reconnect the keyboard backlight. Slide it in and lock in the lash. Now reinsert the keyboard. Again, make sure that the lash is up. This can take some time. Use tweezers to help you. Once the keyboard is reinserted, make sure to push down on the eyelash. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back on and secure it with 10 Phillips head screws. Seven short screws first starting at the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the three long Phillips head screws in the top. 